Check one, two, three, fellas. Let me get a check one, two, three. That'll be a check one, two, three. Can I get a check one, two, three? Bob Mikey looks v? like he's recording in the dark. Can I get a check one, <laughs> two, three? Coming to you, you today from the Brilly Dub Show, are the you... Cape Crusader. Come on, are you with me or are you, you not? You look like fucking Deep Throat. <laughs> you're fucking your whole face is shadowed out this is you, you, you looked into the computer okay but can you, you but, but can you hear yeah, me oh i can hear you i can hear you yeah all right just change the uh, light i would go backwards hat why Do you have like a ring light because or something, the, the shit the the shadow is covering half your face see this is ridiculous man it's unbelievable you're right it is ridiculous. Should have just yeah no i look i agree <laughs> i agree <laughs> this guy cannot Figure it out. Change the lighting, Bob. Oh, Mikey. This is becoming a problem, dude. It's every week. That's better. That looks that's good. Better. That's, that's better. better. That's better. That's better. Right? What is that, a ficus in the in the corner? Right? <laughs> is that a ficus? What did he say? A ficus. A ficus. What it's kind of plant, plant is that? It's a that plant, Bob. Well, he has fake, no idea what a ficus it's a, is. But, it's Mikey. a fake plant. It's a fake plant. Okay. It's a fake plant. I don't do real plants. That's Not understandable you a question the guy who set this up for you right seems like a nice guy very nothing nice personal guy. very nice nothing... guy listens to the program by the way uh, that's fine good glad okay. um nothing it's personal against job. him but can i did Joseph, you pay him you to set just... this up did what? you pay him i'm asking you a serious question did you pay him oh to set it up? he paid him well he paid him that sweet cheddar you know joe you <laughs> It's not even, by the way. Oh, that, he prayed him a not, hefty to, little penny. Let to me be tell honest, you, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for him to invoice me. Oh. I tell you what, it should take off, it should take off a couple percentage points. <laughs> no, but you know what? You know what, Mikey? In all honesty, it's not, it's not him. It's, it's something he told me how to set it up. Yeah. But it, it, it's on me. It really okay. is. Okay. And well, I got you, it. you have to be better. I do. I, 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 you know the good thing about me, Mikey, if I don't say so myself? What it, is that? You take accountability? You take I accountability. To be better. You don't duck yeah. from accountability. You don't. What's that? You don't duck. You don't duck from accountability. No, no. You don't. I'll even I'll even say, to be honest with you, I almost enjoy saying I, I, I was wrong because I think so few of do that. I almost enjoy watching somebody else's reaction when you just say I was wrong. Because if I'm wrong, I'm going to tell you I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you like about me, Mikey? <laughs> um, he just opened I, I don't Pandora's know. That's a, box. That's an, I don't know. That's an awkward question. I, I mean, that's an awkward question. What else do you like? What else do you like about me? Oh, you're a good guy. You know, Thank you. good guy. Uh, <laughs> very respectful. Um, very respectful. Very, uh, very down to earth. Very down to earth. Thank I would you, say. Michael. Um, engaging, well, I funny. Uh, I didn't smart. realize. I agree. Joe, you got the floor. What do you like about me? I was going to say, I didn't realize that the morning pod was just a fishing for compliments podcast. Look, look. We take him where we can get him. <laughs> take him where we can get him. He's, he's uh, got a big old, he's got a big old cast, Mikey. And he's just, he's just hucking it into the ocean. Just try to reel these listen, things it's in. It's an interesting question. An interesting <laughs> I've never question. heard someone say, tell me what you like about Bob me. Asks, <laughs> Bob asks very, very like random questions. He's, he's very much like, out of nowhere, he'll text me at like at like ten o'clock at night and be like, "You know, let me ask you a question about that." Like very random, very <laughs> random questions, and uh, it takes you by surprise. It takes you off guard. Bob, I like, will say you got that. I don't know that camera angle. Yeah, you got to make good. sure he got absolutely destroyed for his camera work. I got, I got, bro, I, I got. Look, yeah, you took, yeah, you took, you took a beat can, for after last week. I can take a beating. <laughs> what I took in that comment section last week yeah. was tough to bear. Yeah. That that was. That and you know tough. what? Bob's not used to taking comments that are on the negative side. I don't in know anything. why. I don't know why you would set up your camera to be down, coming, shooting up, as opposed to just like right in front of you. Oh, it's the ball I sack cam. You... Look, I, I'll, I'll be the first. Time. I saw. I saw it right. Like right when we posted the YouTube video, I saw it right away. And then I saw the first comment. Somebody compared it to like <laughs> a. Uh, this was pretty brutal. They said like an ISIS. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it was tough. It, it was. Let me tell you, man. I I took an absolute beating. Um, Mikey V. I, I mean, I was gonna wait to get into. Oh, we got a oh. very very special birthday coming up tomorrow morning. For those of you listening right now, Tuesday morning, a very very happy birthday. I've never seen a guy in my life be thirty six for the past six years. For as long as I've known Joe. He's 36 years old. Me and Tigger. Well, I'm 37 tomorrow. 
it's it's I'm telling you, for as long as I've known him, he's been 36 years old. We might have to verify. We might have to see some government ID to verify that that age. Mikey, I don't know if you've seen it. There's this thing that people have been tagging me in. It's this stupid thing called famous birthdays. And they got me listed on this thing as I'm 55 years old. Let me hear something great. (laughs) (laughs) So people are literally like messaging me like, are you 55? Like, I don't, it's not even a joke. Yeah, no. And I'm like, I don't look that bad, man. Yeah, no. You want to hear he's on famous birthdays. Here here you go, Mikey V. They they have him as a golfer. He is the 24,126th most popular person on the planet. Wow. Um, First sign, he's a Capricorn. I'm not, I'm a Cancer. That's what I mean. Like who? This is like who? Anybody could just enter this stuff, obviously, because it's all inaccurate things. I tried to email them back. They didn't hear my. They didn't respond to my email. Did you really send them an email? It's false information that's flying around the the World Wide Web, Bob. What? 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 You know that email. You know that email was definitely like, listen. Um, some of the information you have is wrong. However, I would like to remain on your site. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just like. I would like to clean up some 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 misunderstandings here. Do you have, I don't know. Do you have the email of you sending this to them? Uh, I'm trying to find it right now. Oh, that would be terrific. You're right, though, Mikey. You know damn well he doesn't want to be pulled from that site, though. He likes everything else. While Joe reads that email, it, it's damn at 55 years old, golfer and popular character from the Bob the Sports YouTube channel. He is known for his boisterous personality and yes. being an Italian from Canada. He and his That's friend, all correct. <laughs> he, and his, he and his friend Neil Arnett, also known as the Big Ticket, host the podcast The Sportsman. And no wow. love. Wow. No, dude. What a jerk off world this is, man. It's terrible. <laughs> Mikey, dude, you're a sportsman. You're in that. In that Not bracket. according to uh, famous fucking people.com or whatever that website is. Where now, is I would like to, to see if, 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 if they got me in front or behind Joe there. I mean, I'm sure. Are you, you on there? I mean, Bob, you got to be on there. I don't know if I am. I, Bob, I, you got to be I, on. I there. think the whole thing's a farce, to be honest. I, I do too. Yeah. I, I do too, Joe. I I would love to hear that. Email. I'm tr- I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to find it. I, I I mean, it it shouldn't be that. How many emails do you send a day? Yeah, no, I'm here. Yo, Joe's got me beat. Joe's got me beat. What? Really? There's I'm, no way. You're way more popular than I am. I don't know about that, Joey D. I'm twenty seven thousand. 332, 31 years old when I'm 30. Uh, wow. Yeah. I can't Fuck find it. this. I can't find this email. Oh, either. that's a shame, Joey D, because I really would have loved it. I, I know. I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to find it. I don't know. Let me see. Is there an email on that on that site? Is there an email no, link? I, I, I don't even know where you got the email. I, I know that I sent him an email. I was like, this <laughs> it says Joe was born on January 9th, 1968. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it's great. absolutely that's insanity, great. man. I, insanity. I just know oh, I would kill to hear what he emailed them. I said something like I could tell you. I said, you know, I, I'm I'm not thrilled. There's some false information regarding my birthday and my age that is, you know, that has been circulating around the internet. And I, you know, it's it's a it's 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 falsified information that needs to be rectified. I think something like that. And then I gave my actual birthday. God damn it. I want to see that. Why would you um, email this part? Oh, never mind. Never but but a big big happy Never birthday um, yeah, to the yeah. one the only. If you're Let's listening find... right now, you should be commenting. Send him, send the young man a little happy birthday, a little birthday wishes. Yeah, I mean, let's give it up for Joey D. Because Mikey, where would we be without Joey D? In all seriousness, where you guys where would, would still be? be doing the podcast together? Probably, yeah, probably. But where would we be without Joey D? I mean, let's. Where give would the nice... world be without Joey D? Oh. He's like Cap- he's like Captain Hook. Could you imagine? You ever watched that movie, The Butterfly Effect? Imagine if you just, Bob, if you watch it, Bob clearly obviously hasn't watched it. Mikey, if you watched The Butterfly Effect, that movie with Ashley Kutcher. A long, long time ago. I'll tell you what, would have been good for Bobby Blockbusters. Well, yeah, well, that long, rest in peace. Segment didn't have a fucking snowball's chance in hell, that segment. (laughs) The idea behind it, Bob, is if you take someone and you remove them from the picture there's these ripple effects that they have on the world that's right so if you would take me out i'd, I'd like to see where where everything would stand it's like current. that's like every movie or show with a time machine like everyone yes. wants to yes. jump in a time machine but like it always in the movie or the show it always like the slightest change creates this cascading <laughs> effect of disaster for 100%, years 100 100 yeah. 
Yeah. But I, it'd be interesting to see. Maybe you guys, maybe the podcast would be in the top hundred if I wasn't in it. Oh, don't you say no, that. I, I wouldn't oh, say that. Jerry D, I wouldn't don't say you? That. I don't think um, you take, I think you add, if, if any, I don't think you take anything away. That's, that's, I, I mean, that's I, I would, I would like, well, right. I mean, I was, I was, I was kind of agreeing with you guys when I said that, but. Um, Joseph, <laughs> I, I don't know if you know, but, but yeah, you've been following the Mikey um, food, food journey. Yeah, it's, it's got to end. It's got. I, I, I'm down with it. No, nope. I'm down with it. I, I really am. I, it's I, I'm it's so impacting you, thing. Mikey. No, nope. I no, haven't no. heard from you in a week. Yeah, well, it's like you've well, gone yeah, rogue like on. You I feel fucking. Great. I that. feel great. You're, oh, you're I feel so great. fit now. I you never need Joe, we send each other pictures back of our meals <laughs> every day, like any meal we have. I send. <laughs> it's been my, it's been painful. The stuff he's sending me, Chuck. It's disgusting what he's sending to me. Yeah. And there's just no. Uh, I sent the salad. I sent a salad yesterday. You said salad that it looked was... good. Okay. Salad looked good. The broccoli you okay. sent the other day looked like cardboard. But look, I, I'll yeah, also say this too. Those, those <laughs> and, and Mikey, I'm not doing this to to I, to. I know you're gonna say it's a pretzel job and it's to stir the pot. That's fine. And I was worried about this. <laughs> you can't tell me. And correct me if I'm wrong, Joey D. Not the same temperament. What? You're right. I'm a lot calmer. He's not the same temperament since, since right. he's done the, the, the cleanse, Bob. I'm a lot he's calmer. Been, he's been MIA. Crazy. We are not getting nearly what we normally get out of Mikey V, whether it be in the group chats, whether it be I, – I've noticed a pretty Bob, significant – you No, know, I really Bob. have. I really I, – no, Mikey – Mikey, I, Bob, this week was the worst week for Gambler's Digest in a long time. He was time. terrible. I thought he what? was terrible. Me, uh, you, know, like, you know what bothers me, too? I'll <laughs> tell you what bothers me. Even like when I when I text him, I I, I this is my pet peeve. He um he asked me. I haven't sent LOLs. Oh, you sent something worse. He he said oh. it, it's Joe's birthday question mark. I haven't heard from him since yeah. we've done the last podcast. I that's said fucking you're the big that's guy. That's bullshit, Bob. I did, you I haven't heard from me since the last tomorrow, so <laughs> celebrate it early. And he Bob, just responds. Bob, how okay. could you lie to everyone like no, that? But it's true, Mikey. There's been a pretty significant dip. Yeah. And I if I, I'm used to that gambler's digest just being sprinkled throughout. Oh, this is oh, this is I need I need football season back. Yeah, we guys, do. you know that. Oh, I need football we do. back we in do. the worst way. You know that. Like right yeah, now. Yeah, but even I'm, now in the summer, you normally go on your on your thing at the beach with all the flags. That's 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 videos. what all this is for. This is the preparation for that trip two weeks away, boys. We're but two Mike, weeks out. We're ready to go. You're We're ready repeat. to go. You're 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 at the you know, and I know people are going to give us a hard time for not supporting this. What they got to understand, though, you're at that point, though, Mikey V, to where you're you're coming across the line of being too strong. He's already shredded. You don't want to be the no, back to the I'm Jersey Shore, Mikey V, where you were, you know, like Mike, the situation type thing. You're so strong now. I worry about you getting <laughs> too strong. I worry. I about mean, it. I don't think you could ever be too strong. Yeah, you can. Uh... Yeah, you can. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not strength training. I'm doing a lot of cardio. I think a, a lot of people are loving it. A lot of people are following along. T-Bone, T-Bone is really into it. Oh, oh, oh no, very... pass, yeah. no passes on T-Bone. Mike, Mike, I'm not no, passing Mike. it. I'm saying he's, he's into it. A lot of people are into it, man. Mike, like... I committed to it. I'm into day eight right now. I'm on day eight. You got two get... more weeks. Yeah, yeah. I got cheat meals coming though, Joe. I got some epic cheat meals. Oh, coming. hopefully epic we'll cheese. get a, maybe maybe we'll get a text on the. I'm cheat doing meal the thing, burger. Bob. I'm doing the burger live. The burger. The burger. when is by that? By the way, that that is going to be tremendous. That yeah. that Mikey V doing that burger challenge is going to be so much fun. Joey D, I know you got a hand up, but um, you know how he always says you talk like Trump. Mikey V's kind of got it in him too, to where he'll get a few DMs or like five people attend the rally. A lot of people were there. Everybody, you know, I mean, like everybody. It was a big a celebration. Of, a <laughs> it was a big event. No, it's not going to be a big event. I'm, ju I'm just going to do it on IG Live because I think it should be documented in some capacity. And rather than just recording it and putting out like a clipped reel, I'll just do it live and I'll just post the live. You really, I, 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 it's going to be very entertaining. Joe. I'm going to, I'm going to smash that record. Go ahead, Joe. I have a very good idea that you should do a coinciding live with Bob commentating on your progress and pumping you up while you do it. A, I think it would help you push through the pain. And B, I think Bobby commentating that would be hysterical. I mean, it would be very funny, but Bob has to, you know, we have, we have to check our availability calendars to coincide. <laughs> I'm not Bobby's making, a, I'm not making a joke. I'm, I'm being serious. Mike, yeah, I, I would make myself free for that. A hundred percent he would. Yeah, I, I, I really would. I think that's gonna I be have to pick the day. So it's like it's a very like it's gonna be next week at some point next week. It's just that do I do like 
the day before I leave for vacation, I think that's a, that's a horrible idea only I because too. I think it's got to be two days before I leave for vacation, which would make it the Friday. And I basically go right after work and just, I would, I would go to work out in the morning early. I I strategically do one little meal just to, just to stoke the fire. And then I'd be ready to rock and roll after work. You know what I worry about though, Mikey, because I do want you to break the record and, and can you just remind I'm gonna me? I'm going to break the record, but, yeah, five burger patties, uh, a five patty burger and a pound of fries uh, in under 15 minutes. Now, that's the 15 minutes is that's 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 for children. Um, the record right now, as it stands, was broken. So the guy who originally minutes. said it had his record broken and went back in to reclaim his throne, this guy. And now the record stands at nine minutes. And uh, now Bob is concerned. Bob's I am. concerned. I am. Uh, he's concerned. He doesn't think nine minutes, 29 seconds is the record right now. I think you can do fries, it. five burger, patty burger. Prior to it, though, the number was 11. 11 I like that number I, for you. I really like that number. That nine minutes and, this, and change. I think I'm going to do it in seven and change. That's what really? I think. I'm, yeah, I do. I do. See, if he says he's going to do that, it makes me very confident. It, it really does. Joey D's yeah. got his hand. I don't want to do this and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to put oh, you down, Mikey, but this, we go. I really have high hopes and I think he could do it. The last time there was a challenge on the brilliantly dumb show on a live, Mikey V got body bagged. He got <laughs> oh, yeah. absolutely. I mean, I, I didn't get body bagged. Bodied by the whole I, I, I didn't get body. So I'm really hoping. Uh, I did, I did, number one. Number I hope one. this time around Let's we have a better. This. First of all, Joe, you were nowhere to be found that day. You weren't even around. God knows. I was on the golf course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No support from Joey D that day whatsoever. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. We'd, we'd have my back you. and be in my corner. Yeah. yeah. I always support okay. you. Yeah. So Joe wasn't around. I'm that trying day. to fire you about, up here. By the way, me and Swan that day re recorded like we were top 100 in the history of that ride out of like 50,000 people me and Swan. Yeah, no, Listen, good, Swan but... Swan is a borderline professional athlete. The guy played football at fucking oh, Bowling Green. I'm not taking away from that. But, 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 but I will say though, Mike. You gotta wear it. I warned I, I warned wear. you about that, and I That's said fine. this guy is not your average. <laughs> no, he's not. Guy's no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. But you know freak. what? Paul and I are Paul and I are very competitive guys. <laughs> like we break each other's balls. I'll text I'm him. Not, I'll be I'm like, not. I texted him the other day. I said I saw his ride metrics on a thirty-minute ride. I go, that's that's that's. I wouldn't have posted that. I'm going to be honest. Why? Yeah, but because his, his 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 output was was like a hundred points off what it should have been. Yeah, but he he when you guys did the Peloton off. He, which by the way was a great idea for the he show. Took it seriously, he, he did. He kicked it he into did. another gear, and he yes, didn't he did. stop. Yes, he did. Yeah, he, yes, he did. He's yes, a. He did. But I, I'm not trying yes. to. I'm not trying to relive that. All I'm Holy trying to say shit. is that I'm what. Did you see Mikey's arms? That's yeah, I mean the I'm guy. Sh he's shredded. That again. Fucking, he looks like relax. fucking Zeus. Wow, <laughs> dude, he looks huge. Yeah, he's shredded. Oh, uh, Joe, I think I'm you this is a, this is a different this is a different animal. Bob has observed me. You've observed me, but I don't know if you pay as close attention because Bob is so weird and bizarre how he Thank goes you, about his Thank life. You, <laughs> Thank you. He watches me when I eat, and he has said to me several times, "He's like watching you eat is one of the more fascinating things in the world. Like watching you consume food. Like I have a serious problem with how fast I eat, and I'm aware of it. I eat so fast to begin with." When I kick it into another gear, I've done this before for some stuff at work where we've had to eat like a pizza in under 12 minutes, wing eating contest. And I've done very, very well. Very well. I, I very actually confident. think, I think you're going to do it. I think so I, too. I, I'm going to preface it by saying, I think you're going to do it. I'm just, all I was saying is I hope this is a successful lie. Oh, I agree. And, I agree. Mikey. I agree. If I, I'm going to put it this way. If I don't do it, I may have to walk away from, from doing anything. The the only and thing when you win, when you do it, I want the whole night. I want Rocky music playing in the background. I want like a celebration. Do you it, get a trophy or something? By the you way, get your name, you get your name on the chalkboard. It's where is it's it? Spanky and, and probably Spanky. a t-shirt, a t-shirt that's not going to fit. Him. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's ridiculous. But probably. I will tell you this. I, I, I think it's going to be very, very entertaining. I, I really do. I, I, Can I we really pick a day? Can we pick a day? By the way, Bob's going to be on the East Coast. So you'll be on the same time zone. Yeah, probably going to be Friday uh, the 6th. By the way, uh, I want that live booming. Folks, our next sponsor 
is a sponsor that I just so happen to use and take every single day, a product that I use and take every single day, Athletic Greens. You cannot go wrong when you're taking Athletic Greens. I wanted better mental health, physical health, gut health, and that is exactly what Athletic Greens does. You cannot go wrong when you go Athletic Greens. With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you are absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. You can't go wrong. It starts your day right. I do it. I take one scoop of the Athletic Greens, down it with the water, and I am good to go. Mentally, I feel great. Physically, I feel great. After a workout, I use it, and it is absolutely terrific. Now, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. Do it with Athletic Greens. You can't go wrong. Good to know we're all moving to Florida, by the way. It's not just Friday the, the seventh. Thing. Friday the seventh. Mikey V might be taking his talents to Florida as well. Wow. Yeah, that's that's the rumor. That's the rumor mill. Um, Mikey, I want to ask you in, in all seriousness. We might have we might have <laughs> talked about this before. Because uh-huh. like, honestly, is that Adam Schefter approved, Bob? Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. There. There's. There's rumors where look. There's a lot of words that could that could be live pod territory. Bro, I I talked to Holly V about it. One of the best to ever do it. And Lord knows she's calling the shots on that. And she's in. And <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, she's in. So, by the way, Bob says he will provide the family with a, a year supply of Disney World passes. That I would do. That I would do for sure. For sure. Wow. Yeah, no doubt. You know, I, I really, I really. This need, is I, I really unbelievable. Need, I, I, need, I need medical benefits, not really. There we go. World. See, I know this is what he does. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Just, just go to Def. Go to Donald Duck. He'll help take care of little Dom. Um. Also, uh, I have another. I have another big announcement. Sure. Um, before I leave for vacation, I, I'm shaving my head bald. I wow. Oh, shave my head I, bald. You're doing the state them. Yeah. The Statham. I think oh, that's great. Mikey Statham. Jason Statham. You know who stuff. says it's great? Guys that have hair. They say it's great. That's, I that's think, the no, people I think that are like, look. yeah, yeah, it's going to look great. You're great. Yeah. No, yeah. You Two know guys what? with hair. One, you know of, what, Mikey, one of whom has exceptional hair. I I envy you in the sense of I, I, I couldn't pull the trigger, and I, I wish I do. I wish I did because they do say – that the first week is tough. It's like a real bad haircut. <laughs> you're gonna take a lot of shit. You know. No, I think Mikey will be. We'll pull it off. Once well, I'm gonna be on vacation. Week, I'm gonna be on vacation that week, so I'll be away. So that's kind of like nobody knows me down there, really, other than the people we vacation well, with. No, so I kind of felt like that would be a nice transition, and a lot of those guys are bald. So and and you'll be in the sun, so you'll get a nice tan on the head. Yeah, yeah. But that you helps. Do that go helps a lot. Them where you should show that th- there is hair there if you wanted it. That's the beauty of the Statham look is you just do a one or or you just you just trim it down. You don't shave it to where it shows that hey, I got I got hair there but I'm choosing to go yeah. bald. Right? Yeah, well, I think like I think that would just be like after one day after you shave it'll be just, you know. There's going to be hair I, there. I mean, it's going to You know what there. they say, man? They say it's so freeing and they say once you get by after yeah. the first week Look Fuck at Rogan. Off. Fuck Look off. at Rogan. Got to stay. Yeah, gotta Rogan's stay a big ball. Guy. Rogan did it, Bob. Rogan's you talked about doing this for a, many, many times. Couldn't Bob. pull the trigger. That's why I envy Mikey. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. So pull I think the leading up to like doing it, I'm just gonna Photoshop me onto a famous bald guy. I'm just well, gonna see how it looks. You know what you could do? What which I've done before is there's apps where you could see what you look like bald, and they're pretty realistic. I didn't like wow. what I saw, mm. but if you're gonna you go have bald, a pretty good you scalp, have... Bob. What's that? You have a pretty good scalp. Says who? I'm saying that. I think you have a pretty good scalp. You have pretty good, like, oh. scalp form- formation. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think you got to have the head for it. And then if you're going to you go have bald, a beard. What do you like about beard. Bob? Great scalp. Great scalp. <laughs> Great scalp. <laughs> Great scalp. <laughs> Guy's good I, scalp guy. You know what I wanted to ask you? Because, like, even when we're at Billy's, you know, we were in the city, like, walking through Yankee Stadium and stuff like that. Not that we have anything to worry about by any means, hmm. but, like, 
there is a certain level of comfort when you're with Mikey V. Like, I can't think of a guy who you're safer with than we, when you're with Mikey V. Um, I wanted to ask you, Mikey, and we might have had this conversation before, but I don't think that you actually gave us numbers on it. You go into a cage match with me, and then you go into a cage match with Joe. How long do you think you need to knock each of us each of us out? Why does he ask these fucking questions? Because I'm curious. I, I this is the stuff that I think about, Michael. I, well, listen. I think it it depends what kind of a fight it is. I think Bob, your endurance. I think you, you know because Bob's a closet gym rat guy. So I think if Bob was running He's around, stamina. I think he gas me out a little bit. Um, and Bob Joe, would I run in circles. If Joe, if Joe off. could like lock on, if Joe could lock on, he's a bigger guy, so he could have like the grizzly bear type of effect. Um, is the question who I would knock out faster or how long it would take to knock out each of you? Well, yeah, I think we're gonna find that out in the number. So, how, yeah, how long to a KO for me? How long to a KO for Joe? I think if he gets you one good punch on you, Bob, you're done. Fuck you, I and mean, you're not. Well, I'm saying he, I'm saying you have more stamina than me, but I'm I could take a blow better than you. Look at the I'll garage honest, yeah, door. Look, I, look, look, you saw. Look at the action. garage door. Yeah, I, I went I, down. I, I came I, right back up. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get him. I'm not Joe's saying that you can't. Joe's got that weird strength and like that weird, like he just wouldn't go down. I don't disagree with that. I, I mean, think, Mikey, I mean, listen, would if we're talking three, down. if we're talking three minute rounds, I think, uh, I think it would take me. He'd put I, me I don't in know. like one I, of those chokeholds, and I'd have to tap out. I think I, I think I would I think I would KO or TKO both of you inside of one round. Yeah, for oh, sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, for oh, sure. oh, this is the matter. <laughs> <laughs> matter. But like I, 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 yeah. I now the interesting question would be if both of you fought me, that would be something. Would if we be the would we two we would on be one? Fake, we I'd would be very. Be the fake. Fake. I mean, I would have fight to. very very dirty. By the way. Yeah, well. Yeah, we know you. There, to, there would have to be some set of rules, you no? Know? Like, no. Joe, I would. I'd go. I'd go straight. Eye gouging. No, I'd go can straight we, for your kneecaps. Can we? That's can unfortunate. We, can we talk about? <laughs> Joe, you got to give me approval for it, okay? So it's it's gotta it's gotta come from you. Is there any way that here you could tell the Vancouver bouncer story? Why are we bringing this up again, Bob? Why? Now, it, now it has to be aired. This is outrageous, dude. This so. is unbelievable. He talked about this for fucking 15, 20 minutes the other day on Bob to Sports. Now he's bringing it to Mikey, Billy Dumb Show. This is one of the most riveting stories. Let's hear it. Joey Coldcuts knows a, a member from the Hells Angels. I don't know. No, this is absolutely fabulous. No, no, no. Let me roll. Let me roll. I Let don't me... know a member of Hells Angels. Wasn't it from the Hells Angels who got you to the strip Hell's club? Angels. No, that was I Charlie. knew that was Charlie's. It was through some 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 friends that I knew who were connected to to one of the girls whose dad was a member. I don't I Hell's don't Angels. hang out with Hells Angels. So Mikey, Joe she, is now mind you, this is prior to Joe having a girlfriend. This is years okay. prior to Joe. This right. is like twenty something. Well, I'm years protecting ago. you. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you here. No, oh, yeah, strip club. protecting. And he's with two girls that he really thinks he has a shot. It was at. not a strip club. It was a club. This guy's pretzeling. I'll okay, tell the okay, story. Okay, okay, okay. Shut up. Let ah, me tell the story. Okay, okay. The amount of pretzel jobs is. Okay, no, I no, was no. You got in... the floor. You got the floor. Take it, take it, take it. It's a great story. It was a long, long time ago. I had just graduated high school. Like, I was like 20 years old. We went to Kelowna. You graduated to... high school at 20? <laughs> No, I said it was right after I graduated. Like I was 20 years. It was like a year or two after I graduated. Okay, okay. okay go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Bob is I absolutely. Just, I just wanted to know if Canada does that. No, I that graduated at was, the right time. I was I was young. I was like 20. We went out to a club where there was a big group of us. The one guy owned the club. And he had said, you know, you, you guys go nuts on the last night. Whatever you want, it's on me. So he said, it's on my tab. And so we went nuts. We started getting after it. I was, Bob, will you, you, no, you I'm know. Saying, I'm saying, get to the juice. Get to the juice. Long story short, <laughs> I was out with a couple ladies. I was trying to do my thing. I got pulled outside of the club because they were smoking. And, and, and there was a group of us. And I don't smoking smoke. Smoking what? 
cigarettes. I don't okay. smoke cigarettes. I went out there though to be with the crew, and I came to go back in, and I was heavily intoxicated. I mean, I I, I could barely walk. Got and it. the bouncer saw me, and he's like, "You cannot go back in there. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't allow you to go back in there." I Doing said, "No, no, job. it's fine. Job. We know the owner. We're here. It's all good." He said, "No, we can't." So I like kind of started pleading and begging with him. I was like, please, man, you know, like, you know, I like the night's just starting. Like, you know, I have some, some opportunities here to have a really good time. And like, long story short, he's like, no. So I, I, I flipped the switch. I, I freaked out. I said, all right, have a, have yourself a good night. And I went to go to walk away and something snapped in me and I turned around as hard as I could. And I punched him right in the face. Now this guy this guy was built like you ever watch um Jerry Springer, you know, like yeah. the Steve Steve. The yeah. Steve, Steve you Wilco. look like him, the bald, yeah. bald head statham uh-huh. look, by the way. Big guy like this. And I I think when I hit him, I probably barely I, I mean I was so intoxicated, I probably barely grazed him. And the next thing I knew, I just got a clock shot and driven into the cement and I blacked <laughs> out. Now I was supposed to go to the drunk tank but for whatever reason i guess the drunk tank was full so i come to my senses hours later and i'm where? inside of where in a jail cell He's in a j- so mikey joe wait joe wakes up he wakes up in the jail cell and he starts screaming no <laughs> and the guy the the guard comes over and he, he tells the guard you know like, let me out let me out because i'm not supposed to be here sir <laughs> <laughs> yeah well that's 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 that's, that's now, accurate there was never a charge or anything put on me or whatever i was fine but i i, I actually I, I i had to leave that day i had to go back to vancouver i had to go to a backstreet boys concert that night <laughs> and i and it was, it was, it was, it was a oh, bit of a wild. I can't make this up, man. but it no, was, no, you but can't. Mikey, couldn't you? Nobody picture, would, to be honest. Nobody I could would make just that up. Picture Joe, like me, if I woke up and came to it in jail, I'd be oh. so scared to where I wouldn't oh. start screaming. You know, I'd be very Joe, just screaming at the thing, and they had to tell well, him. I didn't have my up. phone. I didn't have my wallet. I guess I had thrown up all over myself, so I had oh, a no. white. I had a white like painter suit on. I didn't have any of my stuff. I didn't know what time it was. It was it was very uh, it was it was scary. Do you know the amount of money I would pay oh. to have that mugshot? Do you know? I mean, it it is. It's got to be out there somewhere. Freedom Perez, of information. No, says, it's not. It's, no, there's Perez no way. Said that, that was so long he ago. Get it. Has Perez be. Perez said he thinks that he could get it. But yeah, because I mean, it was if I so knew what old. prison it was, I could probably get it. You could probably just Google it. You think so? I need to know what prison. Yeah, mm-hmm. you'd have to talk to Barazol. He would probably Barazol or Warren would know. I would. I mean, dude, that would be if I had that shot. That would be oh. one of my all time yeah. favorite. Whoever hunts it down first gets uh, first yeah. dibs at it. Oh, we're gonna, we're, you know, we're gonna get a golf dot com interview, and Bob's gonna bring up this story now. The the whole world needs to know this story. It's a great story. Um, okay, with that being said, fellas, a lot, lot of pre-banter prior um, to our buy or sell. Buy or sell, I'd love to to, to start with, with my buy, and I, I think we know what the buy is common, man. Our guy, one of the first guys to believe in us, the first pro that's ever reached out to us, Keegan Bradley, man. Yeah. Right up Mikey V's alley because very, very family-oriented. I mean, Keegan... His um, his reaction when he won that tournament yesterday, the Travelers, it's an elevated offense. So he won like four million dollars as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, the caddy we sponsor his caddy Scotty Vale, so he was wearing a great guy. Today. That guy, he's an yeah. awesome oh, guy. Oh yeah, yeah. He was at the breezy. Yeah, great guy. Um, it really, I, I had chills. I I have never. I felt like I, you know, I was playing, and I I just I wanted him to win so bad. And his reaction when he won, there's certain guys that their reaction is so genuine. And a lot of times it's been guys that haven't won as much like Wyndham Clark. When Wyndham Clark won that major, his reaction was incredible and probably so much better than if Scotty Scheffler would have won it. No disrespect to Scheffler. He's done it before. To see that was awesome. Now, Keegan's won before. Don't get me wrong. What a genuine reaction. It was his hometown. He had his kids there. Yeah, Just very, very family oriented. We love the guy. 
it 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 was one of the coolest seeing him with the have a day hat. That yeah, to me, awesome. it it was really really cool. Joey, Dayton. I agree. Yeah, it was awesome to see. Um, he won a tournament this the, earlier this uh, last year in December, and you know with the with the time change, it, we we weren't able to watch it. It was this Zozo tournament. Being able to watch this one on live TV with the broadcast, it, it felt really special. And I I will say this. The Bob, the Bob effect is a real thing. We went out for dinner uh, on Wednesday night, two weeks ago, before the U.S. Open. It was me and Bob with John Ellis, who's Wyndham Clark's caddy, Bo Hosser, or um, uh, Big Wave Dave, who's Bo Hosser's caddy, and then Scotty Vale, who you know, who's Keegan's caddy. That weekend, Wyndham Clark wins the U.S. Open. Can't make this up. Wins the U.S. Open. We were with his caddy for dinner on Wednesday. The following tournament, the Travelers, Keegan Bradley wins the tournament. I mean, at some point, you got to acknowledge the Bob effect or the Bob does sports. Uh, I, I don't know what you want to say. I, I think we need to start going out for dinner with all these caddies. Mate, you know he what, though, man? charging a, a service fee, Bob. Could be those meatballs, though, too. <laughs> it could very well be those. The Rayo's meatballs, man. Oh. They go a long way. They, they do a long, man. long way. It's it's not to get off topic here, but it is the greatest starter when you do the meatballs and then you do the fresh moths with the roasted red peppers. There is nothing that just fires up the palate quite like that. It's it's the best. Well, we went for a dinner last night, and this place blows Rayos out of the water. Well, let's and let's, yeah, yeah, they did. It, it was good. It Bob had told Bob had told this young lady, "I'm gonna take you to Rayos. It's what gonna be doing? special." It's going to be really special. And then they take us to this restaurant that just bodies Rayos, Mikey. Oh. And so Bob, halfway through, is looking at this young lady goes, I don't know if Rayos is on the deck anymore. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, I, I did. I, I mean, did. this is what, and this by the is way, life. She, she's a foodie. Find something. She's a foodie. Yeah, always. she knows her she stuff. knows her stuff. And you know yeah. what they did, Mikey? They yeah. had just met Joey D. They got him a cake. It was it class for the dinner, which I wasn't happy about, but they got him a cake. Wow. Um, really, really classy play. That's nice. Very nice, Joe. Well, and Bob's better to find a spot to take the young lady next time he goes out because this place bodied. And I love rails. What's but the name of this call, place? It's called Giorgio E. Baldi. And it's one of the Terrific. best Italian cities or er, Italian restaurants in the city. It's phenomenal. We had a blast. We really Real, did. Real, um, really good stuff. Joey D, buy or sell? Uh, I've been selling a lot this week. I'm, I, I don't need anything to sell this week. I'm a buy. And um, this is something that I've been really anti-superhero movies for a long time. Very, right. very much so. And right. just, I just think that Hollywood is trying to make a buck off of everybody. So yes. anything, you got an Ant-Man here, you got a, this guy here. First yeah. Ant-Man was really good. but yeah. yeah, but I'm saying is it's like these are hero superheroes I never even heard of. You know, I will say, though, I watched the Flash movie. This movie oh, is it was terrible. awesome. It's very, very good. Michael Keaton comes back as Batman. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Yeah. What do you yeah. mean? Yeah. No, I'm so listening. I'm what, listening. What, I'm just what, saying. What is the buy? I, I, what? So what are you buying? I'm buying, I'm buying the Flash. I'm buying Flash and I'm buying the superhero movies. And by the way, I watch it in IMAX. This. Oh, that's the movie. Oh, you went to the it is. To it. Oh, it is. You know what, Joe? I'm going to say this. Absolutely stunning I don't, I think it was. It might have been more the, the, the venue and the experience than the actual movie talking there. Might not they have been that good of a le leather reclining seats, like a couch. The the screen was fucking humongous. It was unbelievable. It was Mike, unbelievable. Mikey, you know what people have said to me, and I don't think they're wrong. What? I, I don't think Joe understands the buy or sell segment because, like, <laughs> he'll just talk about something that had that had happened to him, but then <laughs> at the end of it, you look back and you don't know what he bought and you don't know what he I'm sold. buying. He's Super buying this movie. The you're buying and superhero the, movies. I'm back on the superhero movie train. Okay. I'm okay. buying superhero movies again. Okay. Because okay. for a long time I was anti superhero movies. I watched this one. I thought it was very good. The whole experience was way better than I thought it would be. And and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I Talk will about, start. 
talk about back. Are we going to talk about my top five? Just steamrolling you boys last week. Did I, I didn't pay attention. Yeah, Mikey. Yeah, you did pay attention. Yeah, I did? yeah. What was the final results? I didn't. It, I think it you were last place. Oh, it fine. was. Whoa, whoa. Well, that's, that's <laughs> <not>. <laughs> um, well, you know, I, I, I think it has to do something with the cleanse. He's, he's, his top five have been pretty bad lately. No offense, Mikey. Can I do say one more thing about the cleanse, though, Mikey? Don't you worry <laughs> that. And I don't know the science behind it. Maybe I'm wrong. Isn't now your appetite getting so much smaller to where like it, it no. like isn't it better to eat shitty foods and more foods leading I'm, up to it i'm eating i'm eating a lot of food it's just it's stuff that it just doesn't make you feel cardboard like full really i mean it's like i'm i'm hung i'm more hungry because my fucking metabolism is fucking stoked now but i'm eating more meals a day than i've been than i've eaten in in months so is that the acid or the, or the fats that's not gonna come in weird for you at all what? If you're talking about, if you're talking about, do you think that the cleanse is going to have a performance, uh, uh, a negative uh, uh, impact on the performance? Yeah, I'm, for I'm the asking. Eating? By the way, I, I don't no, know if that's no, true. No, no. Okay. All right. By yourself. <laughs> I will destroy. I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna break that. Record. I can't wait. Handedly. Handedly. Um. Yeah, I'm selling this week. Uh, I'm selling a uh, a fashion statement. I don't know what it is, but I've seen it too often now, and it's just it's 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 stupid. If you're a guy and you're doing this, you, I'm sorry. I, I don't care who thinks that it's cool, who says that it looks, you know, respectable or it's it's cute. You look like a fucking jackass. I'm sorry. The fanny pack over the shoulder look wrapped around the chest with the it just looks ridiculous, man. Like it it looks insane. It looks insane. I've seen it now so many times. That it's just, and it's driving me nuts. Like, I get the convenience of having a fanny pack, but just wear the fanny pack normally. Just wear it around the around the waist. I've worn a, f- a fanny pack in, in the recent past. In fact, on vacation, I usually wear it every day, almost. And I got no, but over the shoulder, you look, I mean, and it's designer bags. They're wearing like Gucci yeah. bags or it's just, it's just stupid. It's just so stupid. I I just don't understand it. I don't. Maybe I maybe I'm just old. Maybe I'm just old. No, I don't know. I, I don't think you are. But I got a I, I got a got a weird feeling. I don't know why. I totally agree with you, Mikey. Joe, mm. could you stay with us, please? I'm looking. I think that I have a photo of me wearing something like this. Oh. But from a long, from a long, from a long time ago. From a I long was, time I ago. I was going to say, I got a weird feeling that Joe's about to disagree with you, Mikey B. And There's I, no I fucking t- way, Joe. There's no way. Why? I, I think I might have seen him with that before. Joe, no, Joe, Joe's Joe. had a weird, he's had a weird phase when he, he was like raving. He went to a lot of raves back in his day. He had, <laughs> he had a very, he had bizarre, bizarre phase and i think, I think he might i, I think been... i found a photo here hold on let me see if i can find it yeah i i i bob's not wrong but i was this was a long long time ago. but that's was... bizarre because a long long time ago i don't ever remember seeing this as a trend up until lately so maybe joe was just ahead of the curve back then yeah you know what they say mikey v i do set the trend sometimes here let me yeah, see is here. that what the... who says that <laughs> 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 now look how skinny i am here this this photo i'm gonna tell you right now when this photo was taken okay so you uh, uh, there's no what, wait what type of bag is that joe what, it's, what gucci, is that? it's gucci it's gucci, it's gucci. It's you, gotta be, april, you, gotta, you, you gotta be fucking kidding me joe april 9 you gotta 2000, be fucking kidding me. april 9 2007 that's 16 years ago yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a that's a gucci bag Oh, like who the no, Joe? No. Do me a favor. You got to send that to ticket so people can. Like see who is that. he? Little Uzi Vert? <laughs> like what the fuck is it? What is this? What is? It? And a Hugo Boss with the chain out. That I can respect. I can respect the chain out with the Hugo Boss. That's why I didn't say. But anything. the Gucci, the Gucci bag, Joe. Joe looks terrible. I, okay, I was sixteen years ago, man. I was I was twenty one years old. I was a that young. That math pup. checks out. That math yeah, checks yeah, out. Does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It does that, and how I old would I, was, I have been? Sixteen, 16 years, years ago, you would have been fourteen, Bob. Yeah, wow, just a little pup. 
Just a young buck. <laughs> man. A just a pain in the ass in Nutley, New yeah. Jersey. <laughs> or no, young... Randolph, 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 yeah. Randolph, Randolph yeah. New Same Jersey. Thing. Yeah. Same thing. Um, all right, boys. I um I, I think it's time we go into our, our top five. Um this is a Joey D uh top five here brought to you by Joey D. So Joey D, why don't you tell the folks um Oh what... god, there's another photo here. Jesus Christ, Joe, can you stay with us here, please? Oh my god, <laughs> this bro, I god. lived I lived it I lived down the Jersey Shore every summer for years through the height of the of the Jersey Shore bullshit fake shit on MTV that they those people who aren't even from New Jersey who gained all this notor through all of that and I never ever ever dressed like that. That was what people thought everyone dressed like at the Jersey Shore. Yeah, and that's but, not that but, is insane. That but, is insane. But, but what? But what? Mikey, what? There are when you have there's your, pictures your, of me at like you, boy, oh, yeah, I, no, no, my, I, I don't think you want to go down that route. I don't think you want to go down that route. Why? Because I was why? Because I was just a big guy in the club. Why? What's no, it, Mikey, you had a sleeveless shirt on. You made yourself look like you were a bouncer there, and you couldn't fit through a fucking door. Yeah, you looked like Mike. Boy, the situation man. when he no, was in Italy. I never wore. Are we? Wore, no, like, Mikey, come on. It's the most Jersey Shore photos of all time. I never had like the fucking blowout hair. I never wore like those fucking sunglasses. No, like, you didn't like... have the the night. You didn't have the night out one. But you did have. I mean, you could not have looked more Jersey. They could have swapped you out for Paulie D, and nobody would have. <laughs> but I'm saying that picture that, that picture that Joe just showed is like that is like the no, ultimate. No, that's crazy. I, that's I agree. Crazy. With like, that's I agree with crazy, that. Joe. But that's with that being crazy. said, ticket for the YouTube followers out there, if you could roll the Mikey V Jersey Shore days. Oh. Oh. Um, out there. And by the way, I agree that a lot of that, so if it's ridiculous, Jersey Shore first season, maybe even second season, is the greatest reality television yeah. That, yeah. that's it's ever. Unbelievable. Very good. I mean, very just, good. It, that might be the last time I ever lined up, you know, on a certain night, gathered around the TV with people to watch what was going to happen. It, it was, it was the best. Um, okay. All right. With that being said, Joey D, why don't you talk us through the top five here this week? Today's top five is some people will be like, oh, you already did that before. No, we have not. We, we are doing top five cartoon series. Now we have done something previously similar was top five cartoon characters. So we're going series, not characters. Um, and why don't we get uh, good old? Uh, why don't we get Bob to start today? Good. That'll that'll um, you know prove the naysayers wrong that I don't go first in the top five. So. <laughs> Barry, this is gonna be I, a I, very. I, I'm I'm preparing myself for this list. He's gonna have SpongeBob like at one. I can juvenile. tell you already. It's gonna be a very juvenile list. SpongeBob at one is already. Yeah. I can tell you this. Oh God, number one. Hundred percent. I mean, I haven't. Even yeah, it's your list. It's your list. It's your list. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, number five. I got SpongeBob. No, I'm, I'm, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, number five. I I went. Look, I like it. I, a lot of this is just out of respect as well because of how long the longevity. I mean, it it's transcended. I like it. It is oh, my the five. Simpsons. I got the Simpsons, Simpsons at five. Yeah. I, I and and that's very much just out of respect. Um, so I got the Simpsons at five. Number four, go ahead and lock me in for Jimmy Neutron. I'm gonna take Jimmy. What's wrong with Jimmy Neutron? He stinks. Are you serious? You think Jimmy mm. Neutron stinks? I don't even know who he is. Do me a favor. Turn on Jimmy <laughs> Neutron for Dom today. All right. All right. Have you have, has Dom ever seen Jimmy Neutron? No. Really? Yeah, really. What are you showing him? He's I past mean, he's, the Coco Melon days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's watching like uh, he'll watch a little Blippy. He'll watch. Uh, he'll watch Blippy. movies. He's a movie guy. Pepper the Pig. Well, you go watch Pepper, Pepper the Pig. Pig. Not a Pepper the Pig guy. Not a Pepper. Jersey, he was a Pepper Jersey Pig. Jerry. How did that start? Jersey Jerry to his kid. He's like he was uh, just doing a live unboxing of like a pack <laughs> of playing cards. I think or baseball cards or football cards or something. And his kids in the background. He's like, yeah, you be good. You watch Pepper the Pig. You watch yeah, Pepper yeah, the Pig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you quiet down. I'll go watch Pepper the Pig. Yeah, yeah, you go watch. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Um, uh, give me Jimmy Neutron at four. Number three, I got SpongeBob. Um, just an icon, just an absolute icon. I know Mikey V doesn't like him. I think Mikey V sold him on the buy or sell. He did. He did. 
wild to me. Just just wild. Um, I got SpongeBob there at three. Number two, um, I got Hey Arnold. Yeah, I know you're a big Hey Arnold guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mind Hey Arnold. It's not my five, but I don't mind it. I don't mind Yeah, it. I was a big Harry Arnold fan. I love Jerry. I really like Jerry. You got uh, Olga Pataki. I oh, yeah, Olga, Olga was crazy. I thought Olga Pataki brought a lot to the table. Um, and then at number number one, Jested. I um I have got a number one. I got Family Guy. Now, I got a feeling. And look, you got to go with with what you like. I think I'll I'll have a tough time in this list. And correct me if I'm wrong. We'll see. I think you guys both are going to have South Park in your top fives, and I think that's going to take you a long way. I was never. I, I just was never able to get into South Park. Um, I always liked Family Guy more, and I think South Park's going to take you a long way. Um, but yeah, that that's that is my list right there. And uh, let's head on over to Joey D. Looks like he's ready to roll. All right, number five. Um, the thing here too is Mikey V and I grew up in a different time than Bob, so I think like some of the cartoons that I watched, they weren't around when Bob was was growing up. You know, like they were older. Number five, I used to watch this series all the time. I thought it was awesome. It was the Batman animated TV series, the cartoon series, the Batman. They had Joker in there. It was it was really, really fun. That's my number five. Yeah, well, what's wrong with Batman? We're, we're anti-Batman now. Mikey? I just, um, I never watched it, really. The cartoon, I never watched yeah, it. Yeah, the cartoon was great. Yeah. It was really, really good. At uh, number four. I'm going to go with um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's a good one. It was a great cartoon series. Growing up, I used to, my favorite, my favorite was Raphael, but Michelangelo was hilarious. Donatello, Leonardo. Um, I think that's all of them. But yeah, awesome yeah, series. Splinter. Yeah, Bob, do you, do you even know what Teenage Mutant Ninja no, Turtles I did, was? Well, I wasn't doing anything. I'm just asking if you know. He's if asking you know if you know what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. You, you sure? One thousand percent. I who was I, the, who was their enemy? Do you know who their enemy was? Wasn't it like a bunch of rats? Master Shredder. The Shredder. sewer rats. Splinter was no, their Splinter caretaker. was a good guy. He was a right. good guy. Okay. He was like yeah, their no, dad. No, no. I, I had a teenage uh, mutant turtles uh, party at one point. And uh, number three, <laughs> at number three, I got Simpsons. Um, and Simpsons is is uh, just I think you have to include it because it's been around for so long. And it's it just it keeps doing its thing, and it's I still watch it from time to time now. Um, and number two, this was a great series, Mike. I don't know if you watch this. The Looney Tunes was absolutely yeah, Looney awesome. Tunes. Yeah, Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes to me with Bugs Bunny, you got Daffy Duck, you got I mean, you got all the characters, hilarious Road Runner, and all that. Just Looney Tunes at number two, yep. and number one to me. You can watch it. I you watch it when I was a little bit younger, but now I watch it and it's just so well done and so funny. It's political. It's got all underlining messages. South Park is by far to me, if you put South Park and Family Guy like next to each other, I don't even think it's a comparison. Oh, I'm going that's ridiculous. South that's, Park that's ridiculous. all day. You had every, me all you had me. You didn't need to do that. You didn't yeah. need to bring I'm in not family saying guy. I'm not saying that Family Guy is not good. I just think South Park is so much funnier than family. I mean, it wasn't in your top five, and you just said that you can't compare it to South Park, so you must not think it's that good. Well, it's my honorable mention. Okay. Family Family Guy is my honorable mention. I will I say like the people- I like the Looney Tunes play. I think that's the under the radar, the best pick he had. Yeah, really? it's it's yeah. it's, yeah. it's, it's a, a um it encompasses a, a lot of things. I don't know how people are gonna react. I don't know if it'll be really good. You I got Porky know. Pig, you got Daffy Duck, you got Bugs Bunny, you Bugs got Bunny, uh, you got Wiley Coyote in the yeah, road. The you, road got, uh, you got Yosemite Sam, you got a lot you got of stuff a lot, there. you got a lot got a lot of stuff it. there. That covers a lot of bases. That's a really yeah, good I'll play. be interested to see how, how people react to that. Without further ado, we head over to Mikey V. Number five, I'm going to go with an MTV classic uh, cartoon, which was like a forbidden fruit when I was little. But I remember watching it because it was like so ridiculously like I just thought as a kid, it was the most hysterical thing ever. Beavis and Butthead at number five. I thought Beavis and Butthead kind of was uh, an inspiration to some of these edgier cartoons. Like I had never seen anything like Beavis and Butthead growing up, obviously. And that was something Four, give me Doug. I think Doug is an underrated cartoon, man. Doug Funny, Roger Klotz, Patty Mayonnaise. I think Doug is an absolute classic. That's a that's a throwback from the Bob childhood. Bob doesn't give like me, it. 
That's fine. I, I mean, Jimmy Neutron boy over there is going to sit <laughs> there and tell me that Doug Funny's not fucking good, but Jimmy Neutron's good. So that's fine. Number three, South Park. I think South Park has to be on the list. So many good episodes and moments oh. from South Park. The movie, the video, like everything is, is just great. Simpsons at two. I think old Simpsons episodes, if you watch like the really old Simpsons, I think they were great. I think Homer is one of the greatest characters in the history of, of shows, let alone cartoon shows. Homer Simpson is an icon. And then number one for me is the same as Bob's, Family Guy. I think Family Guy is... The most well thought out, like Joe, the, all the things you said about South Park, the most well thought out political, you know, subliminal messaging. And the best thing about Family Guy is when Stewie says something or references something obscure and then they cut scene to like reenact a preposterous thing that he's referencing. Like that is just like the funniest thing in the world to me. That's my kind of humor. So I got Family Guy at one. Mikey, when you were when you were doing the list, I could hear like the Mel Kiper coming out, like when you were doing Doug and the different characters that there are Doug, like in the in the in the Mel Kiper voice. You gotta you gotta do you gotta. I don't want to put you on the spot, but you gotta give me a little Mel Kiper for that. Well, you know, you got your Doug funny out there, of course. You got Roger Klotz, the number one <laughs> enemy, who's been doing some great things out there in high school. Skeeter, don't forget about Skeeter. Guy runs the forty in a four point seven five flat. And then, of course, the love is life, Patty Mayonnaise, ladies and gentlemen. Just a great person, great individual. And we're, we're back to you, Bob. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell you, man, there, there's few people that you could put on the spot and you feel more than comfortable putting them on the spot. Mikey V and then Nikki Smigs. I don't ever mind just putting them on the spot and having them go. That's terrific. <laughs> I think that's absolutely terrific. Um, and, you know, speaking of of – putting somebody on the spot. We're going to go back to it. Um, Mikey V, I, I, I think it's only right that, um, you know, we, we say a few words to to the great Joey D and, and wish him well on, on his 36th birthday, a uh, young oh, at heart. It's 37, 37, 37th He's birthday. Joining me. He's joining me at 37 now. He's young at, at heart, now. the 24,768th most famous person on the planet. Um, yeah. I don't want to live in a world without a Joey D. And I say time and time again, if, you are never going to meet another Joey Colcott's and take that for what it is. Just, just a one of one. Mikey V always says it passionate, unique, and unapologetic. I don't think you'll get three better words to describe that young man, but I'll tell you what, Joey D you're a sick, twisted fuck. And we love you for it, pal. And we always love you will. Too, boys. Um, one of the best to ever do it, but hands down, uh, Mikey V will send it to you. Well, you know, um, I don't know what there is to say really about Joe that hasn't been said. Uh, Joe is one of the more interesting people I've ever met in my life. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, his intentions, his heart is is always in the right place. Uh, does he express himself perfectly all the time? No, 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 no. no he doesn't. Uh, does he make some questionable decisions at times? Yes, yes, yes he does. Sure does. Um, is he? Is he on course to to become one of the great ones of all time? I think. You'd have to say he probably is, if not, if he's not there already. Yeah, I agree. Um, Joe is, is again, Joe, I wish you nothing, but obviously the, the best year of your life. And I'm sure uh, this will be the best year of your life. Things are on the up and up for you. Oh, Mikey um, comes to Florida. That'll help. As long as you're happy, uh, as long as you're happy doing what you're doing, um, you know, no matter how much we break your balls and God knows I'm probably the number one uh, culprit of it. Um it really is all out of love and, and, and out of affection for you as a person. And uh, it's just good to know that Joe is a type of guy that you could break his balls and you can, you could do all that kind of stuff too. And he just, he understands where you're coming from and he could take it with the best of them and give it back with the best of them. And uh, he's never going to change. I think we could all say that nothing. He's never changing for anybody. He's, he's in his lane and he's staying there and nobody going to get him the fuck out. And, and we love him for that uh happy birthday joe seriously uh enjoy it um and nothing but the best bro nothing. i love That's you boys yeah, stop it up, that man. was sensational I'm, I'm, I'm just absolutely sensational talk about a few guys who just just hit the mark on the head every time just a few <laughs> fellas just who really uh, we need mikey in florida it's as simple as that bob yeah, it's gonna happen it's going to happen. Uh, very, very happy <laughs> birthday to the great Joey D. Uh, folks, make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the podcast as well. We are on our quest to top 100 on the charts. We love you. We appreciate you. That has been another edition of the Brilliant Dumb Show. We will see you next time.